clarkwoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic with Chris and Steve. This is episode 32. You're really just like starting things off like right off like, here's all the relevant here's information. Here's all the relevant information. I'm trying to be professional. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you were over there, uh, you know, drinking a Narragansett and playing on your phone. I'm going to turn it off. Don't You're gonna, worry. Uh, you promise? Yeah, I did. Yeah, all so. right. Well, but just, just, before, just before we started and... Foley artist. Yes, yes. Um, just before we started, you know, you were, uh, we're, we're recording at your place this week, and you, um, you were bringing out the trash. Yes. And on the way back, you figured, hey, one might as well stop by the mailbox. Because it's Saturday. Because it's Saturday. Let's get the mail. Um, and what was inside, but, uh, but Action Unlimited, and if which you, is not. Well, my, my exact quote when I got it, and I'm like, oh boy, Action Unlimited this is my favorite part of the week. Yes. But it's not what you would think, right? Action Unlimited is not a, a pornographic magazine no. uh, with unlimited action. It is, <clears throat> nope. It is, in fact, a um, sort of classifieds and some... Uh, it looks like there's some at least goings-on, if not articles. Um, you should write on that thing. Yeah, I'm Become sure. Become the editor of Action Unlimited. I'm sure it pays a lot. But more than what you're making now. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Um, and I was looking through Action Unlimited, and there is a... You are hamming this up way too much. <laughs> I was looking through the Action Unlimited. No, I, I can ham it up more. I was looking through the Action Unlimited. Stop it. <laughs> and for sale under $249, Playboy magazines. Ooh. 180. That's a lot. Full years... 80s, 90s, low 2000, 21 special editions, $225. Does that like come with the jizz? <laughs> I don't, can you get come with your jizz? Oh. Ah, see, I ruined the joke. Yeah, you I did. The joke. What else it was is funny. There? It was funny until I, um, yeah, uh, also in here, let's see, let's see. Um, VHS videos, 14 Disney VHS Fox. videos? Yeah. VHS videos. That's what it says. Was it? Oh, that's what it said. Okay. That's what it I, I, I thought that maybe you were just no, being dumb. I well, no, I I mean, I am dumb. I'm not denying that. I was not being dumb in that that particular. Like V and VHS stands for video, I, right? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, I'm just. I, it's um. What the hell is the rest is, of it? HS. What is HS? Video high speed. Oh, no, no, no. Let me get my phone. Uh, I mean, you know. I, uh, how was it that VHS then succeeded? Well, probably for the same. VHS succeeded over Betamax, and Blu-ray succeeded over HD DVD. Yes. Now, HD DVD, okay, just the acronyms: High Definition DVD uh, Digital Video Disc. Cool. Betamax. Uh, I guess that doesn't really make. Well, any Beta sense. actually succeeded in Japan. It, it did really well there because it was higher quality. Yeah. And that's. My father had a Betamax at one point. Not, I'm not, sure. I'm sure he was doing something with pornography with it. It wasn't back in the day that he had the Betamax. It was actually late into uh, VHS's reign and just before. So he probably got it on DVDs. the cheap. Yeah, and and I don't know what he got with it, but I think he was uh, taping it over to a to a VHS. Tape. Apparently, it's it's the the acronym is Video Home System. Video Home System, like the NES. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, but that was a machine you could play games on. The VHS is a tape that you I mean, have you, to use on a VCR. You could play games on it. If you were a light fellow and, and you, you know, a lighter person, you could you play games. You need to stop trying to make jokes today. That's <laughs> <laughs> just not going to happen. You really do. All right. Um, so how, what, how much were, were or the, what kind the, of VHS? VHS. VHS videos. 14 Disney classics. Wow. Four other videos. Excellent condition. $25. I wonder how much jizz is on that. Oh, very well done. I did, it was funny. It was funny when we did it before and I, I Yeah, you had to go I and just, ruin it. I mess everything up. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm supposed to be supportive, right? No. <laughs> I'm supposed to be Chris. Don't worry. Everything's no, great. You're not, I fuck fuck being supportive. Be All right, honest. I won't then. <laughs> be honest. You You're not doing any. Thank you. You're not doing anybody any favors. But well, I mean, you can you can lessen the blow when you're um, uh, when you're when you're giving someone criticism. But I think you, you still have to be honest with them. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, that's what I think. Agreed. Um, I heard from your brother last night. He's been watching Trailer Park Boys on uh, on uh, streaming video service. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And he's he enjoying it. Yes, he's on like season five. I would like to understand how people can sit and watch TV shows, like binge watch TV shows. Like it's because you, you, you hate fun and... <laughs> Your brain is like, well, this is fun, so I better not do this. To, to sit like for hours on end watching one episode of a TV show after another. See, I, I'm usually a, a multitasking and playing a video game and watching a show, unless it's like an anime that's yeah. like, that's subtitled, so I have to pay. So attention. you have to pay more attention. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I I did have fun once. When was that? So was it recently? It was not recently. It was no. back in. 2012, I think. I forgot. Oh, it was, it was, that's pretty recently on when, the grand scheme of things. When the Avengers came out. Oh. When the original Avengers came out, um, it was uh, the April vacation for um, uh, Kaylee, for my older daughter. Um, and my wife, surprised, Stephanie, surprised Kaylee by taking her on a business trip that happened to be happening at Disney World. Oh. Um, so they went away. Um, and my daughter, Melody, the younger daughter, um, she was being taken care of by my parents so that I could go. <laughs> the way you said it is like she was being taken care of. Like it, it was a fucking mob hit. <laughs> Don't worry. She's taken care of. She's, she's been like, taken care of. <laughs> you could just say my parents were looking after her. Well, instead we, of the, we've seen was... that my facility with words today is not... <laughs> Well, it, it ended up me. A good, <laughs> I, I, it, it made it so I could make fun of you. Yeah, so. Well, yes. So I happened to bring a joke back into the whole thing yeah. instead of instead of taking one away. Um, so I went to go see the Avengers uh, or Marvel movie marathon, which ended in a premiere of the Avengers. So John Martin and I, and I'll I'll try to link in the show notes. Um, Did you have uh, a blog about it back in the day? We we actually recorded an episode of Generation Goat. Wow, was that the, the last one you recorded? It was, it was not the last one we recorded. But it was recorded right after the end of watching 12 to 13 hours straight of Marvel movies. So we went in at like 11 in the morning um, to, uh, it was like an AMC theaters in, I want to say it was in Reading. Um, but I could be totally wrong. Was it maybe the one in Methuen? Or? Uh, it wasn't that one, no. It was, that one um, usually does shit like that. It does, but this getting one, local for you. Getting local for you. Um, we went in at like 11, 11 in the morning. It was in a mall. It was one of the ones that's kind of attached to a, a to a traditional mall as opposed to the strip mall, which is the one in Methuen. Um, and we went in at eleven. They started with Iron Man. They went through the entire Marvel catalog up to that point, and then by the time we but got like to, okay, so when Iron it goes Iron Man, like Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, um, oh, I forgot Iron about Man that one. two. Yeah, well, those two came out the same same year, um, and the big, I, you know, everyone remembers that uh, Sam Jackson showed up at the end of Iron Man as Nick Fury, like that. That was their little Easter egg. Well, the other Easter egg that summer was um, Iron uh, Incredible Hulk comes out, and Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr., sort of shows up uh, towards the very end of the movie, which was a big deal because technically speaking, um, Paramount was putting out the Iron Man movie. Uh, and Universal was putting out the Incredible Hulk movie. Oh my God! Oh my God! So the two of them, you know, collaborated, and they allowed an actor to cross over. So that that's, was a, that's really nice of them. Yeah. Anyway, so went to the Avengers. I'm movie. sure there was no money involved. I'm sure. Uh, movie marathon starts with that. So Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man two, um, Thor, Captain America, and then, then the Avengers. Then the Avengers. So is that the order that they were meant to be watched? Um, well, I'm sure you could get into that, but yes, I think so. I mean, that's the order. They or is came that the out. way that, that Marvel want, would want you to watch them? I mean, well, it's both the order that they came out and I think the best order to watch them in. Although there's somebody out there, I don't know if I can find this link, who actually went through and created a supercut of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe in chronological order. I I've not sought it out, but it's like 12 hours, whatever. It was like 12, 13 hours long at the time that this person actually did it. Um, at any rate, all those geeks, you know, you have to kind of be a geek to sit in a movie theater for 12 hours watching. A guy, a guy that would bite the head off a chicken? Let's, I'm I, sorry, literal Steve. <laughs> I know, little Steve. I 
I like the word geek. Other people like the word nerd. Uh, nobody likes the word dweeb. I, I like... I like the word dweeb. <laughs> well, for, I for I had, I had forgo- Nobody would self-describe as a dweeb. I, would, I had forgotten about it until you just said it. <laughs> I, I used to have a theory on geek, uh, nerd, dweeb, um, and dork. I, I thought... And I, well, I dork, know. dork is just like you, is is a is a penis. <laughs> yes. So you don't want to, like I I don't want to call anybody no, a nobody, penis. Well, yeah, you don't you don't want to call anybody a penis. Just don't. I'm not even going to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, that was a very very fun day. Um, by the time we got to the Avengers, we were all so loopy and and we'd had a lot of mall food um, because in between movies, sometimes there was a twenty minute break, sometimes more. Did you like get an like hour. a cocktail or something? Oh wait, you probably would have passed. Well, if it was um, me, I would have passed out. I don't know if there was a bar or because it's the mall. There might have been one of those end cap uh, restaurants, but we didn't end up there. We ended up at McDonald's twice. Ugh. I think. I know. I know. I know. Um, but it was great. Um, we it was it was it made the movie even better because we had just we were hallucinating because we'd been up for that long. Um, well, and I, I, I mean, being up for twelve hours, thirteen hours isn't an unreasonable amount right. of time to be awake. Well, to watch that many that much sort of comic book popcorn movie, uh, maybe I don't. Know. Well, like I don't know. Are you mm. are they doing it again? Is that why you're bringing this up? I'm bringing this up because. Uh, so the Avengers uh, Age Ultron third probably final trailer came out this week and I was like there's no way they're doing it again if they do it again they'll do you know like just two parter maybe I thought maybe they would just do the the more recent ones the their cuz they've released their movies in phases so phase 1 was everything from Iron Man to the Avengers and phase 2 is everything from um, uh, Iron Man 3 to Avengers Age Ultron right um or they, there's questions as to whether or not Ant Man, which comes out later this summer, is part of Phase Two or Phase Three. Anyway, I thought they'd just do Phase Two. Well, obviously, Ant Man is the perfect thing to kick off Phase Three. Well, they are doing a bunch of weird bullshit with Phase Three, which which may turn out is, good and may turn isn't out bad. Doctor Strange, Doctor well, Strange, uh, Captain Marvel, the Inhumans. Um, they are putting Captain America: Civil War. Which has so many damn characters in it that it might as well be another fucking Avengers movie. The only Avengers that aren't in it are um, Thor and Hulk. All the other Avengers like are the, in the giant guys that would just smash shit. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Otherwise, everyone else in the Avengers plus a couple of extra people, and it's rumored maybe even Spider Man will be in Captain America: Civil War. Wow. So that one will be like the big hit amongst all these other ones that may or may. Uh, may not miss anyway so they're doing this marathon again except that they're not just doing phase two they are doing all 11 movies up to this point so they are starting on wednesday night um the 29th of april and they are finishing i don't know probably around midnight on the 30th uh of april 29 hours Okay, so this is uh, that now you may and I can go hallucin- <laughs> You may start hallucinating <laughs> after twenty nine hours of watching movies. I so want to go. So I saw that the, the I think the trailer came out on. Is it during like spring break or whatever? It, so this is it lines up perfectly, right? So I'm like, there's no way I can do that. I have classes. I have to get the kids off the bus. So first thing I do is I hear about it. Um, have your parents take care of the. They take care of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> so Steph is not going. So first thing I realize is, well, it starts on at 6 p.m. on um, on the Wednesday, which is after my class on Wednesday gets out. So, okay. So I, and I have no classes on Thursday, so I, I could do it, right? Uh, and then my classes on Friday don't start till 11, so I would have time to, to sleep afterwards um, before I had to go and teach uh, on, on the Friday. I was like, but I have to get Kaylee off the bus. Nope, it's April vacation. So that takes care of that. The kids are taken care of. In this, in this case, by, by the, the daycare center. So, you know, daycare center taking, taking care of kids. Yeah. If you, if you know what I mean. Oh, stop trying to make jokes. Um, it's, it's fine to be the straight man, Chris. You don't, <sighs> you don't have to, like, like Seymour Skinner. <laughs> you are Seymour Skinner. Okay. Um, so that was all exciting, and I, I said I, I just ran it by Steph when she came home that night. I think uh, Thursday night, and she was like, 
Yeah, because she, I think she recognizes, as you do, that I don't know how to have fun. So when there's something like this that comes up that she you knows, get, I, I will have fun and I can get excited about it. She's like, yeah, go. And then reality hit me uh, yesterday, Saturday. No, today's Saturday. So Today's Saturday. Today is Saturday. Although when people are listening to this, it's Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Um, so the other day. Yes. I, I looked at... Um, other possible conflicts and I had forgotten that a couple weeks ago I mentioned that I, I, I was going to pitch a play to be produced at the Players Ring up in Portsmouth I had forgotten that if my play gets accepted I have to be in Portsmouth on that Thursday night April 30th because they because that's when they reveal the season that's when they sh- tell all their members who are they going to Did do they have like the announcement where live podcast uh Horribly off topic. <laughs> is that going to be part of it? Uh, did you I, bring that up when I, you were pitching your play? I did not bring that up. Um, but, uh, sorry, it, one of the things that I did want to talk to someone about, it, you, I mean, one of the things uh, just before we we started the podcast, you did the show um, in Portsmouth with Sam. Yes. So Sam um, pitched his night of comedy um, to continue running. Yes. And I thought what I would love to do um, and I'm saying it out loud here on the podcast, so now I suppose I have to do it. You're gonna have to talk to Sam about it. <laughs> is to ask Sam, like, could we? Um, and then, and then, then the ring, of course. Could we come by, like, after um, or for the show, and then talk to some of the comedians on the podcast? Um, so, like, once a month, we would go and we'd go to the comedy show and we'd get guests on to tell better jokes than me. Yeah, well, maybe not than <laughs> me, but you know. Um, and uh, and that would be a thing. So it would be a nice way to like kind of uh, get in there. Muscle our way in and then right. maybe that will be a way where we can actually have our own right. live one that people go to see and pay money for. Yeah. Which would be neat. It would be neat. Um, so, uh, so if my play gets accepted, I can't go to see this crazy marathon. But, but here, here, here's the thing. <laughs> but that means that my play would get accepted. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> your play gets accepted. Uh-huh. And that's the thing you want more. Correct. That is the thing I want more. So your play gets accepted, and if that if that's true, you you have you have to go there and, right. and you miss the movies. But you've already seen them. I, I have list. already seen all the movies, so it, it's not that much of a loss. Right. But if your play doesn't get accepted, and it's a, that's a total bummer. Right. But you have this thing that yeah. it's like, hey, I got this thing that I can go to do yes. because my play didn't get accepted. Yeah. So that, you're in a good situation. I'm in a, I'm in a very good situation. I was feeling very, very positive about it. And the thing is, is that if I went, if, if my play did get accepted and I went and I did their their um, their season reveal, I could still go to a late night or like midnight showing of Avengers Age Ultron after the reveal. Yeah. And I'd be I'd be pumped up from having just revealed that my play was part of the season and it would be just as cool. Yeah. The the only thing that I can think of that could screw this up is, is if your kids aren't taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> that that if they don't tell me, right, soon enough that I haven't uh, that I my play has been rejected. You know, if I don't have enough time between when they tell me that and when the, this crazy movie marathon is, I may not be able to get tickets. Oh, they're going to tell you before the reveal? Yeah. They, so they it's not them. like, it's not going to be like, uh, what the fuck, dude? You're going to make me come down here and then yeah. say. <laughs> no. So they tell, um, they tell everybody that has been accepted. Um, I, and this is the thing I meant to look um, at previous years because I've been accepted twice and rejected once. Is this like open to the public or is this just. The like... reveal is um, for the members. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, although I think they sold tickets last year, so the public could go in. But it and and it is an interesting, e- entertaining evening. Um, That'd be great. I, I should just buy a ticket and just sit in the background and boo every time someone <laughs> ex- gets a play accepted. <laughs> Fuck um, you. <laughs> so they, the two years I, I'll have to go back and look. But the two years that I was accepted, I want to say that I found out in like late March or very early April, which would, which would still give me time. To buy the ticket, if uh, well, but the, if I, that was when you they really think the, they're going to sell out of these, they well th- this time probably not. Last time they actually did. So last time they had them at a couple different theaters around the area. One of them was in downtown Boston. That one sold out. That was actually our first choice. 
Um, cause then we could have gotten, gone out and gotten drinks. Um, cause there were, pl- there were plenty of bars. Um, but like that, like, but like I said, that's dangerous, yes. especially yeah, with right. me. Like I have, cause I, I've, I mean, except for last night, we went out after work, uh, mm. the coworkers, cause we had a, a hectic week and we're yeah. like, Hey, let's, let's go out and have some drinks after. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have like three or four drinks and I'm like, yeah, ready to, yeah, yeah. Wanna, that, that would have been. I want to go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like sleepy, sleepy time tea, sleepy time. I, yeah, Steve. so it's good. It would have been dangerous. Anyway, so there's a possibility that they not dangerous, but just you know, yeah, just unfortunate. You can fall asleep during the movie, yeah. which I, I, the last you said the last Thor, you did fall. Yeah, asleep. I did, and, and I didn't. I wasn't drunk at all. <laughs> um, I didn't have a single drink. <laughs> as maybe, a matter of maybe, fact, maybe maybe you should have. Maybe it would have made it more enjoyable. Like yeah. one drink. Maybe would have kept you awake enough because you just could have been heckling the movie. No, I'm not going to be that. I don't want to ruin it for other people. <laughs> That's nice. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're not that guy. I, I mean, the only time that I ever really talked during a movie was that time that I got a private screening of the movie MacGruber. Mm. Wait, so you're alone and you talk to the movie? Well, I, I, well, I didn't really talk to the movie, but. I got a phone call halfway through, That's which, right. I, which I that. took. I was like, "Hi, it's it's me, Steve. I met oh, I met a movie." And they're like, "Oh, sorry, I can call you back." Like, no, that's fine. I'm watching MacGruber. <laughs> and I, I think I said this the last time I talked about it. Uh, like, it was bad. I did not like that movie at all. Yeah, and it's understandable that I was the only one there. Right. But like, I had a bunch of friends that were like, "This is awesome," and I'm like. I don't get it. Like, I, I mean, I, like, I agree with them a lot on, right. on their their opinions on, on funny things. Yeah. And and I saw that movie and they were like, that was great. I'm like, hmm, maybe not so much. I, I haven't seen it. I, it's one of those ones that I just even, I don't think I even know that much about it. I Just the name alone. And I think I might have seen a, like a screen capture or something. And I was just like, nah, it's not for me. It was Will Forte. Okay. I don't think I know who that is. Either, he's he's but. one of the guys from Saturday Night Live. All right, a couple, yeah. a couple is, of is it like a MacGyver kind of? Okay, yeah. But like the the sketch on Saturday Night Live, Live like he would just always die at the end, or there would be a giant explosion at the end, or something. Gotcha. <sighs> I never actually watched it, and I was like, I don't know why I went to see this movie. <laughs> oh wait, I know exactly why I went to see that movie. <laughs> because it was the movie that was starting closest to when I arrived. That is a that is a great way to. Because no, that's not. when I when I when, when I decide to go to a movie by myself, like it's just what it, unless what? it's something that I'm planning on seeing, I can't find anybody right. else to go with me. Um, like I'm like ah, I just want to go to a movie. I won't look at the listings, and yeah. I'll just go to the movie theater and right. whatever starting closest to the, when yeah. the time. I'm like even if it's like like you know this isn't prices right rules. If it's over, <laughs> I'm like this still previews going, right. so I could see you right. know not miss the movie. But yeah, like that, that 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 worked out for me once, and it backfired on me another time. Because <laughs> like the first time I went to see a movie, it was I was going to Rob's house for mm. New Year's Eve, and like I was going straight from work. I was working in Hopkinton at the time. Yeah, and I got out at like they let, they let us out at like two. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I can't just go over there now. And I didn't. I was living in Lowell right. at the time, and I'm like, I'm not driving all the way back to fucking Lowell. Yeah. Uh, so I was just like, I'll just go to a movie. And yeah. it was like a theater in Westboro that I went to. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was just a, a Bollywood movie. Nice. And it was great. It was called Three Idiots, and I would totally recommend it. <laughs> Three Idiots. All yeah. Right. I dig it. I dig it. I, I'll add it, it to it, my like mile-long Netflix queue for when I find it. I, I don't know if it's... Uh, if it's Oh, uh, streaming video service. Well, Sorry. yeah, whatever. <laughs> it, I don't know if it's... it's, if it's uh, Digitally streamable, but okay. I definitely back when I got discs through that service. Yes, I could. that I got the disc of that to watch it again, and I still liked it. So yeah, it's long though. It's weird. It's like a comedy, but it's it's exceptionally long, hmm. which is very odd for a comedy. You know what I? Um, I'm ashamed to even admit this, but um, so I had in my Netflix queue because I heard it was horrible, and I, and I'm generally intrigued by movies that have something to do with with sex. I don't know why. Um, I, okay, so I I think it's done poorly most of the time when you have a movie that is um, a traditional movie uh, that is about a ton of sex um, that really should just be a, a porno. Like, um, 
But I was like, eh, I'm always interested because every once in a while, it like those amazing sex scenes in the room. <laughs> I have not seen the room. Oh my god. Um. So like, Basic Instinct is a pretty. It's a pretty good movie, yeah. all, all things considered. Um, that is about sex, right? Um, um, I don't know if it's about sex <clears throat> per se, but there is. Sex There's a lot of all. sex in it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, Showgirls, a not so good movie. Um, but that's not about sex. That's about it, dancing. It's okay. It's about movie. Jesse Spano <laughs> getting excited, <laughs> fucking it? a dude like a spastic in a pool. I'm sorry, I shouldn't use the word spastic. Is that is that is that's that one of the the bad, the bad words now? I think it's a bad word. I don't. Do know. you call your students spastics? No. <laughs> um, but I, that that scene in the pool where she's um, she's flailing backwards and her arms are flapping her well, she's a tall lady she is a tall lady i just i don't understand like she also seems like a pretty in, in, intelligent actress and and otherwise made decent decent choices in her life and i just wonder did the director tell her to do that or did she do that or is that really what what maybe she jesse just... spano looks like when she's having sex i don't i don't know is that what Jesse Spano looks like? Her name is had... Elizabeth Berkeley. I know. Can you just say her real I, name? I couldn't say her real name if I remembered it. I'm sorry. Jesus. Um, She's a real person. At any rate, you mentioned long movies, and I mentioned that I like to I like to check out movies that you know happen to have a lot of sex in them to see if they manage to be any good. Because most of the time they aren't, and most of the time I just stop after 20 minutes. Because you've come. <laughs> no. Oh. Um... Was, did someone not take care of the kids that night? <laughs> God. Uh, have you you shouldn't be movie? watching these dirty movies with your children around anyways. Have you heard of the film uh, Nymphomaniac? We, we talked about this. Did we talk about that? Yes, we talked. We watched the beginning of it and we both were like, Blah. I didn't. I don't think I watched the beginning of it. I watched the beginning of it and I was like, eh. Okay. And then Dan yelled at me because, like, I, was it Lars von Trier is the director or whatever? Yes, yeah. And he was like, he's one of my favorite directors and you guys are assholes for not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I hadn't seen it. So maybe I added it to my queue after you talked about it or whatever. So I had both parts of it. Both parts of it were on streaming video service. Um, and I. I started watching the the um, what was that? It's just my neighbor. Okay, um, I started watching the uh, the first part, and I watched the first part um, probably I don't know if I got like an hour into it or whatever, um, and you know it was pretty bad. But there's one scene <laughs> there's one scene in it that's actually a pretty compelling like would have been a pretty compelling short film, and it's the part where um, uh, she and her friend are deciding to see how many guys they can be with on the train for a bag of candy. Did you get that far into it? No, I didn't even get past the first scene. Okay, all right. So there's a there's a, a group of scenes where they get onto a train, and her slightly more adventurous friend is like, "All right, whichever one of us, um, you know, shags because it's set in I think it's set in Britain. Do they say shag? I probably not. I'm just, just gonna use the shag because I like the word shag. We're, a, we're 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 adults here. We do a podcast that has an e next to it. You I, can say fucks or or bones or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna say shag. Porks. I don't know. Pork. <laughs> she 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 speaks with a British accent. I'm gonna use the word shag. I like the word shag. All right, fine. So they say shags more. They they are gonna they're gonna fuck as many guys as they can. And whoever gets the most guys is going to get the bag of candy. What kind of candy was it? Um, it was it was not it was not a brand named candy. It wasn't like good candy. It was like Mary Jane's or like some. It was in a bag, like peanut butter, like things get stuck in your teeth. Like peanut butter, generic British candy. I don't know. So I don't know. I would I would just try to fuck less, so I wouldn't have to have that (laughs) shitty candy. candy. All right. Well, these girls wanted the candy. Oh, okay. Um, And one of them was the more adventurous friend was having more luck. Uh, she goes ahead and challenge the other friend is, is so far behind but they're trying to come on to this married guy who is who is nice to them gets them out of a jam when they're they're basically riding the train with no tickets and he pays for their tickets and they try to come on to him but he's like i'm married whatever um they go out into the hallway um the more adventurous ones like look i will you win the competition if you can get that guy um so the she goes in, she starts talking to the guy. Um, I'm spoiling the whole damn movie. Anyway, oh, jeez. The guy, the guy is um, uh, has been paged by his wife 
they're, he's going home because apparently she is ovulating. They've been trying to have kids for a while. Um, this is the optimum time. Yeah. And um, she, uh, our protagonist, decides to still come on to him anyway and gives him a blowjob there on the train. Oh. Therefore, probably ruining his chances of, of you know, of having a child um, because, you know, his wife's ovulating at home and he just, you know. Well, you know, you can just a little you bit You can, later. but... but Back, it's not going to be as good. It's not going to be as good the second time around. Yeah. And when you are uh, dealing with any form of infertility, one of the things they're telling uh, the dude um, is to, uh, you know, make sure that you haven't uh, you haven't uh, shot your load. There we go. We've got an we've got an E. I can say shot your load. Yeah. Uh, recently, you know. So if your but wife like, is just ovulated, you but you don't you want down. like fresh stuff? So do you, you do want fresh. So I think there's. Um, well, it was different for me because I was nearly, nearly entirely infertile. So they didn't—I I forget what the instructions were to me. But for a for a guy who is, things are working normally. I think they do give you sort of like a don't go more than a few days in between because you want to make sure that you're always producing stuff. But you know when it's going to be the day to to sort of deliver the specimen, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> However that ha that goes down. You don't want to have just done it the day before or earlier that day or on a train with a teenage girl, um, as happens in that film. So like that 10 minutes of the film were really compelling. And then it just went back to she's somehow fawning over. It's not Elijah Wood because <laughs> Elijah Wood's a good actor. What's the fucking guy from Transformers? That dude. Shia LaBeouf. Shia oh, Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf is in the movie? Shia LaBeouf is in the movie. And he, um, if I... Basically, I know I watched most of the first part, um, and I was just like, "Really, it's about Shia?" Like, it keeps coming back to Shia LaBeouf, and then I like skimmed through the second part, and it was like lots more Shia LaBeouf, and I just don't. I mean, a he fucked up my childhood by making Transformers movies, and b I just I I don't like him. So you I like? I just don't like him. I mean, last week we did talk about the 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 prequels. A bunch, we did, we and did. how how and. And you know what? I thinking about it, I can't say that George Lucas ruined my childhood because of those movies. Sure. Because I had a choice of whether or not to see them. Okay. And I did. And that's my. Like, I'm, so I'm you, taking, ru you I'm, ruined your childhood. I'm taking personal responsibility All for right. it. He made shitty movies, but I didn't have to see him. And because I was so eager to see him, I saw or I saw the first one at least. <laughs> That that I uh, that I ruined it for myself because I could have just like heard that everybody hated it and be like, well, I don't have to think yeah, that this exists. That. Well, it's such a cultural phenomenon, though. You like, could you have really avoided it for? I never watched Titanic. Fair point. Fair point. You that was a power. That was a well. I I wasn't seeing anybody yeah. in 1997. So. Well, we've talked about this too. I wasn't seeing anybody, but I still went and saw it. Well, you know, you just love. Uh, Occasional boobs and standing he, at the front of a boat and going, "Yay, I'm the king of the world." Well, you know, in, was there sex in that? Like a um, significant there was. amount? I mean, there wasn't. Uh, wasn't it nymphomaniac was, sex? No, but you know, no, it was not nymphomaniac sex. You know, I went to the I think I went to the Wikipedia page for nymphomaniac afterwards and discovered that um, there were lots of uh, that the the penis in the blowjob scene was prosthetic. Oh. Um, so she, I mean, you see her going down on it, but it's a prosthetic penis. So I guess. So does that make it not pornography I, then? I guess. Um, and then um, I also read that uh, they that in the scenes where you saw the actors um, having sex, that they, uh, if there was genitals exposed, um, that was actually digitally subbed in from porn actors. So um, I don't know what they. So like you might see most of. Uh, Shia LaBeouf's body but if his penis was going into somebody it was a porn actor's penis superimposed over Shia LaBeouf. like I was just like why go to that much tr maybe I don't understand exactly how they did it but basically they also filmed porn actors so if you saw the insert if you saw anything being inserted that was um, that was a porn actor uh, but sometimes you saw it at like a far Maybe I need distance. to give this movie another shot. No, you don't. It's, oh. it's really, really... <laughs> just watch porno is what you're just saying? Just watch porno. <laughs> you know, speaking... I, I do these draft-a-day things on the website, right? Um, and I don't know why, what it was, but last night um, I was trying to uh, trying to write 
the, the, the piece of fiction that was going to go on the site. And I ended up writing a scene in which um, a mom catches her, uh, her son jerking it to the computer. Um, to the computer? Like, uh, is it, it, porn, has it been turned on? on? <laughs> He's just sitting there, oh my God, this electronics is <laughs> making me so excited. <laughs> to porn on the computer. Okay. He, has, he has two different windows open. <laughs> Um, what was and, what, what were the what well? Were the two it, it's it's strongly implied um, by his mother's question that he was watching the uh, blowjob scenes, um, and his mother asks him, uh, you know, Uh-oh. what this is, is this it? This is turning into like weird like mother. No, no. The mother is looking the other way while he pulls his pants up, and for whatever reason, she can't stop herself from asking, you know, what is it about that particular act? And she says it. You know, maybe in a way that implies that she's not that fond of, uh, of blowjobs or whatever. And the son, instead of just saying, I don't want to talk about this, mom, actually comes out and says, um, uh, the the power? And she's like, whose power? And he said, the, the woman's. I mean, she's got it in her mouth and she doesn't bite it off. And the mom, then, then the end of the story is, you know, the mom says that she will never ask him again. Uh, for the rest of uh, his life, no matter if she catches him or comes close to catching him, she's like, "I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna ask anymore." Um, I I mention all of that because you mentioned, you know, just go watch porn, and I inquiring minds want to know, what? like, if you are gonna go watch some porn, like, what is it that that you that you go looking for? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, uh, is that too really, personal a question? I don't. I don't necessarily have a. I usually just go to one of the sites that Mm. has a bunch of stuff on it. Yeah. And usually, uh, I don't know. Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever's on the main page usually will, uh, whatever kind of jumps out at me, I'll I'll look at it. And if it's, if it sucks, I'll go find something else. If it's good, I'll (laughs) watch it and blow a load. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was an interesting choice of words. There's, if it sucks, you occasionally, else. and I don't know if this is what this says about me. Okay, but I, I, I there, there's like apparently sometimes it's just like a girl like mm. just there and just yeah. talk, talking to you like yeah the the, the 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 it's trying to entice you yeah to, um, to, to watch to, live yeah no 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 I'm not talking about that oh I'm no not about that. like I'm the, just talking the, about like a gal just talking and just okay. being like you know jerk your hog or whatever <laughs> and she's kind of you know playing with herself and just talking yeah. to you but i don't know yeah. i, I kind of like that huh. is that is that weird i don't think that's weird okay i mean because I, I, I'm, I'm i'm a very verbal person except for when i'm having sex in real life yeah you know no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no talking during yeah. I don't, i'm weird like i, I guess it's because like because of after years of just basically silently masturbating <laughs> i'm not very like vocal during yeah. sex and, okay and so basically to i have to like like if somebody like that i'm with wants that yeah i have to consciously like do it because like I, i'm like because it's it doesn't come naturally to right me. yeah huh that's that's interesting um i wouldn't say that i i mean i've only as we've said i've only had uh two partners and i don't think either one of them was particularly vocal so i don't know that i've formed a strong opinion on whether or not um uh, whether or not I care about talking during uh, during sex. I'm not ta- so I'm not talking about talking like hey how's it going I'm banging you <laughs> yeah. or no, not not talking but whether whether it's talking or whether hey it's, isn't uh, this interesting <laughs> I'm getting close to m- it's blowing a load yeah. hey, would you like to move your leg over there would it be would it be better for you I don't know. hey <laughs> I'm gonna grab your ass while I pound your pussy. <laughs> We're really earning the E tag today. <laughs> um, oh goodness! That should uh, be the episode. Title. <laughs> we're, we're earning the E today. No, um, no, no! I'm gonna grab your ass while I pound your pussy. <laughs> no. Can, can that be the title? I don't think that can be the title. You could put I, like a little asterisk or whatever. I'm gonna grab your. Da, 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 um, well, you could make it. You could do like the the at I, sign. I, I think, at, and then two dollar signs, and then <laughs> like pound your pussy. Like you could have like, um, I don't know. We, um, something that looks like a P. Was it? What is it? Umlaut? Is that a thing? <laughs> An umlaut is a thing, but I don't. <laughs> That's the title right there. What is an umlaut? Is that a thing? <laughs> Um, so, 
Just nothing. totally throw you off. <laughs> I got nothing. Um, I did. I did read a, a tweet today that I thought was um, that was pretty funny. Cool. Uh, was it today or yesterday? I don't know. It doesn't uh, matter. <laughs> it was uh, it technically was, it was a couple days it was, ago. It was good. a couple days ago when people were listening to this. Um, this is from Jason Snell, who uh, runs a um, a site called uh, Six Colors, and he does a podcast called The Incomparable. Which this week, speaking of the prequels, they finally are doing their two part analysis. When is somebody that uh, does a podcast going to talk about our fucking show? I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe by shouting out to to him right now, he's going to talk about it. I don't know. Yeah. What is he going to all? It's just like magically know that we Magic talked about it. He's just going to know that we we talked. You, about you it. could you could tweet about. I it could when tweet him, you know, and say after all the pussy talk. We uh, we talked about this tweet by uh, by Jason Snow. Yeah, the he, pussy talk. The, the pussy talk. Yeah, because it's never happened before. It will never happen again. <laughs> don't don't tempt me. <laughs> um, Jason wrote the reason conspiracy theorists always have long beards is none of them have heard of Occam's razor. <sighs> and I wondered what you thought about that. That's just great. That's <laughs> awesome. It's very witty. It's very witty. It's very clever. I Good. liked it. Good it was. It was. It was. It was. It was clever. It was, it was. I don't know. That was like that joke that I had about slides. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that I want you to. I think that says enough about what you think about it. Um, <laughs> you want me to just tell the joke? No, I'm because that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you even need to tell the joke. I'm gonna tell the joke. You're, are you gonna this, tell the joke? Yes, yeah. I'm gonna tell the joke. All right. All right. So. It, usually I would go from something exceptionally dirty, which we just did, yes. to this joke, okay. <laughs> which isn't, uh, and, which is usually why it would get laughs, because they'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just went from like making a cake in his friend's ass to mm-hmm. this. Yeah. Uh, and then, so yeah, it would be like, yeah, so I called my congressman today. Mm. Uh, they've been uh, thinking about instituting new slide legislation and I wanted to call him up and tell him that that's a slippery slope <laughs> well done <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> uh, do people actually write to their congressmen no <laughs> I, I hear that they like, write to your congressman I'm like I want to meet the people who write to their congressman I would like to as well like it would be cool if people actually did so maybe mm. they actually work for us and not people that dumped Bags of cash. That's on their who desk. writes to their congressmen. Yeah, corporations. Corporations are like, hey, um, can you do this because um, uh, we want to take advantage of the American people and have more money? Hmm. Yeah, and they're like, sure. You want to sure. give me? You want to give me money? They're, they're, yeah, they're gonna like cartoonishly large bags. Bag of, with dollar sign with on a it. dollar sign on it. Yeah, like right on his desk. There you go. With right. gold coins. Gold coins. Scrooge McDuck swam in gold coins. Yeah, he would have like. I, well, I think it was on, fam- on on the Family Guy. The Family Guy. Where there was one of the cutaway jokes uh, where Peter's like, "Oh, I'm gonna jump into this money bin," and then he jumps in and he like breaks his neck because <laughs> you can't you can't you really can't, jump into a big pool of money. Yeah, because you would you it's solid, it's not liquid. It's not a good idea, folks. Yeah, Scrooge, like uh, just 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 saying. Just anybody who gets a giant it's a giant bin of money, giant disclaimer. We are we're not advising you. So if you get that much gold coins in a in a big money bin at yeah. the top of the hill in Duckburg, right? Can you not swim in it? Because I don't want you to die. Yeah, yeah. Where does Mario put all his gold coins? I mean, well, he gets he a have... one up when he gets a hundred of them. I know. So, oh, so he trades it in. I suppose he trades it in. Okay, so like, he never ends up with a big vault of. Well, it's of just gold like coins. maybe like. I don't know how the hell that would work because you get a hundred coins and then you get a one up. Yeah, it's like you know the one up fairy just appearing and like here I'm gonna take these coins from you. Like, what if you didn't want the one up? What if you had like sixty guys and you're like, um, yeah. I don't really need the one up. I'm gonna use this cash for like something else. I'm gonna like, use this cash to find somebody because you know princess won't give me a blowjob. You know because you had to make it dirty. <laughs> We had a fun little conversation about <laughs> Mario trying to like get some cash so he can actually so he could do what do something I don't know fucking go to a goddamn movie marathon <laughs> right okay all right um what I don't know I don't I don't have anything else oh we, we're, we stuck we're, we're only at like 40, only 40 45 40, minutes we 45 have, minutes. And we didn't get an email from we Brian this week. We didn't get an email from fucked. Brian to save our ass. Um, 
some, I think I had a train of thought that was going to come out of uh, I, I, Mario. Or I Duck didn't really Bird do anything or, this week, and I'm sorry. Like, I, I didn't like it was a very busy week at work, so it was you just, can't always lead an exciting life and have uh, stories. To I, was, I was, it's got to fall to me sometimes. I was and, fall I, like I was, I was <laughs> such a lame. Like I, I got home, I, I think at seven mm-hmm. or so. Yeah. Oh, like well, did I talk about what I did last Friday? Uh, about going to the movie or going to see a movie with the the meetup group? I don't know. Apparently not because I don't you don't think know. What, you did. I went. I watched Goonies. Oh, I know you did not talk about that. Yeah, we. I went to this, this, these folks in in Littleton's place and we uh, we watched the movie. I don't know if these people like me at, at all. It's, <laughs> it's weird because like you go to these things and like. I guess you can't really uninvite somebody unless they're like a royal dickhead. But right, I don't know if yeah. like if I'm. If I'm you don't too, know. Yeah. If yeah. I'm too much of a dickhead for these people or what? Yeah. I don't know. But we we we, we watched uh, watched the Goonies. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go again with with these folks, and we're gonna go to see the Big Lebowski at uh, Chunky's nice. up in Pelham. That is a that's uh, a valued rug. Really tied the room together. Yes. We threw out a rug today, which is what made me think of that. Was it? Did you try to put it on the Craigslist? Or no, it was like it was ruined. Nobody would have. Uh, it was. Um, it had come from. You uh, kept on dragging your ass on it when you had worms. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it used to belong to Steph's great grandparents, and then we somehow came into it, um, and then uh, we had it on the floor for years um, with two kids who loved to spill things. And I don't know if they loved to do it. I they, think they just... seemed to like like it a lot. Do they laugh and like, ah, this is so fun when we did this? Maybe. Do they Maybe seem like they're doing it on purpose? Maybe you should have your parents take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, so, yeah, you went, you're going to go see Lebowski. Um, is that it? Was it? That was all there was to the story? There wasn't really much of a story. I mean, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> it hasn't it, happened yet. When it happens, I can talk about it. I'll, I'll probably end up at Pinball Wizard before. Hmm. But the, I don't think the big Lebowski pinball will be out at that point. Um, I don't think that, you know, Lebowski would be, I keep thinking I have this one class, um, that I don't know what to do with. It's, it's not going well. Um, and I was showing them, it's about work. It's about, uh, they, they go and they come in and talk about their internships and how things are going when, you know, we talk about workplace issues and, and stuff like that, but I haven't known what to do with it. So, you know, I showed them scenes from office space, uh, a couple of weeks ago. And then it went well for most of the class. So then I showed them an additional scene from Office Space the next week. And I was thinking about doing it this week, sort of a third week. Um, and one of the students that I have is actually particularly sensitive to, to vulgarity. I, I, I've seen, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but like he, he has a very visceral physical reaction when somebody swears, whether it's a movie we're watching or somebody in class swears, it just it really like it bothers. Him. That's weird it's, to me. It's, like, cause I, like I like like in my professional life at work, I'm yeah. very I'm very good at keeping like you know when we were out. At, but like last night when we were out for drinks, I was yeah. like pouty mouth Steve. <laughs> but when you're in as the I am in normal life, right? But, like, but at work, like I don't usually. Yeah. yeah, I'm usually pretty yeah. sort of professional. I don't right. know, as, as professional as I can get. Yeah, um, and and so I could understand, you know, it's been a gradual realization that, that uh, this student doesn't doesn't like that stuff. And I, I had forgotten how much was in Office Space. I mean, I knew there was a lot. Well, it's, but, it's rated R. Yeah. Sure, but uh, um, at any rate, so I was going to show it, and I was mentioning that I was going to show part of it. And he actually said, and, and he's a very polite guy. He, um, he doesn't, you know, uh, like to cause a ruckus in any way. Um, I mentioned it to some of the students who were there before class that day, and he said, what exactly does Office Space have left to teach us? And I was like, all right, so I won't I won't show that. So anyway, I, I've been thinking of, uh, to get back to Lebowski, I've been thinking of, you know, what are, what are some other films? Not that Lebowski would have well, any... Well, Le- Lebowski, would... <laughs> like, has, I think, uh, until The Wolf of Wall Street, I think Had Lebowski... Had F-bombs. Well, not the most, but it was pretty high up there. I know there was a there was a YouTube video I watched once. I think I watched it before I'd even seen Lebowski of all of the uh, instances of fuck in the, uh, in the movie. Let's see if I can find that. Um, that, but that's not workplace related anyway. The one thing that I have thought about showing, because I think there could be a good conversation about it, is um, 
Blake's speech from Glengarry Glen Ross. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, Blake um, is that is that Blake is uh, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin's character. Like so always, that scene is a, a B C always yeah. be selling, always be clo- closing, <laughs> always B S A B S. That's for your breaks. Oh, by like me putting the breaks on the joke. Um, <laughs> and me fucking up <laughs> letters. <laughs> um, so I've thought about showing them that, but I'm pretty sure that. Is is pr- even Blake's speech is, is high on the um, on on the f bombs. So um, I, like, I want to talk to this kid and be like, "What <laughs> what the fuck is your problem?" <laughs> I think you'd probably turn him off right there if you phrased. It I that would way. try. I like. You know, I'm very bad at things like that sometimes, <laughs> but like, I've 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 found that I, I often, hmm. if not always, have my foot in my mouth. <laughs> Like I'm just talking to people. Like it was uh, when bring it back to the Goonies. Like, yeah. Um. There, there was a. Uh, we were. I was just talking to some people, and there, I found out they were from Philly, and I just mm. started making fun of Philly accents. Oh God! I'm like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like, that's I, the first thing. Like my my mind goes to is like, what? well, these people are from a place. Let's make fun of them. What does a Philly accent sound like? Um. I can't, I can't really replicate it. Just listen to the song Punk Rock Girl by the Dead Milkman. Okay. And yeah. that is basically a song sung in, in one of the heaviest Philly accents you could actually ever imagine. That is a great song. Um, so, yeah, that, that just that. And the, there's certain things like uh, they they say drawing instead of drawing. Okay, yeah. And then uh, Saul instead of saw. Just little little, yeah. things, little like things like that, because like I, I, I like one of my professors in college, uh, Professor Harrington, or uh, Jason. Jason. We. It was funny. I keep on going into like <laughs> deeper and deeper into like something. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember where we started. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, uh, Jason. <laughs> so uh, he he. It was his first semester teaching when mm-hmm. when he had us in our broadcast studies class, yeah. which he I, he renamed. Uh, the history of mass communication technology. Okay. Which <laughs> it's a longer name. Yeah, I think that was actually one of the exam questions, which I got right because <laughs> I still fucking remember it to this day. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, he was his first semester, and we gave him no end of of crap. Right. Like we were. I don't know why I said crap there. <laughs> For the same reason, for the that kid, I, for like the I'm, same reason that I said shag you earlier. On. You should tell the kid to listen to the show. I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Just be like, listen, fuck face. <laughs> listen to my podcast, so you no, fail. No. <laughs> fail your internship. Oh God, I uh, can't even imagine if I asked my students to read or listen to anything. I, I yeah. I just I had. A, I'm surprised none of them have kind of stumbled on it. I, well, it, somebody might have stumbled on it, but um, they just haven't told. They you haven't about said it. anything to me. In fact, I think uh, I'd have to go back and look. I have a, I have this like sneaking suspicion that one of my um, one of my female students liked a um, a post of mine about the podcast on Facebook. Uh oh. Which made me go, ooh, that was a one. That was one where we. I think it might have been last week's where we talked about the Sports Illustrated thing. But she didn't say anything to me about it. So I don't know if she just... I never know when somebody likes something on Facebook if they actually go to it. You know, like if I if I post a link to my site or if I post a link to the... To Maybe she's a podcast, big fan of the show and then she... Like know. I was talking about tits and shit. No, no. She, I, 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 that's the thing is it, so I... You know, we talk about um, having a having a woman on the show... Um, I wouldn't ask a student to be that. Yeah, would that be, would be dumb. That like, would be dumb and inappropriate. Um, but she's very smart, and in terms of like somebody, so wait till she graduates. When she then graduates, we'll have her on the I will. Show. Pro- I will. You know, I will invite her on because okay. I, I think she could teach us a thing, thing or, or me a thing or two. I think I, was I, I, I would. Ju- I would ta- uh, obviously <laughs> immediately put my foot in my mouth and just start <laughs> arguing with her about stuff. Mm. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, I don't know what a, what a okay. like means. When, anyway, go back. Well, so yeah, saying. Harrington. Harrington. Well, we, we, we never called him Jason. We just called him Harrington uh, yeah. because we were not good kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but like you know we we. I, I, I don't think, know. My students call me Clark sometimes, and I, they are good kids. I just I don't know where. It okay, maybe we are good. We maybe we were good, and it's yeah. just like because like there, I remember one evening. Uh, he was staying on campus late, and I was like, I I had popped into his office before I uh, yeah. I headed out for the headed out because like all the communication arts classes at Framingham State were in the um, in the library, which was the furthest place from my dorm, <laughs> and it was the place that I went the most. Right. So I had to climb up a fucking hill every day. 
Oh, wow, wow, wow. I know. Wow, wow. <laughs> terrible, terrible life that I've lived. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, would, I, went, I popped in. I'm like, hey, Harrington, what's going on? He's like, ah, oh, just crap doing stuff. Like, yeah. And I'm like, hey, me and uh, some people are going out to get a couple of oat sodas later if you want to come. And he's like, yeah, sure. Like, they, you know, it was back when we still had the, the dorm numbers. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I have your number. I'll, I'll give you a call if I, if I decide. And so right. I went back to my room. I started playing a video game. And I'm like, yeah. my phone rings. And, like, it never rings. Yeah. So I'm like, who the fuck is calling me? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, what's up? And he's like, hey, it's Arrington. Uh, yeah. Uh, which which dorm are you in? I'm like, down in Lindsley Hall. He's like, all right, I'll come pick you up. And we'll go get some drinks. Nice. And so I got I got a, a small crew of us <laughs> together. And we went out for drinks. And it was pretty... It's pretty surreal. Yeah, that was well, like the first professor I ever went out for drinks with, yeah. and then I, I went out for like like most of the communications department after that. There was a there was a professor at my college, um, my creative writing teacher, who um, who I think people went out for drinks for, with, and I think in fact we actually had one of our workshops at a bar once. Um, but I was always really nervous about that shit, and I um, I, but I, I don't because I'm nervous about everything, and I regret it now because there were plenty of people who went out and had drinks with them on a regular basis. Um, and uh, it's, you know, as long as it's, I don't know, I don't think you even have to worry about it at all. I mean, every, everyone's an adult. Like, you can tell the difference between uh, classroom time and hanging out at the bar time. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, most, most you, people are. like, well, you know, it, it, we, we never did anything inappropriate. <laughs> right. You know? yeah. We were just having some drinks. We, yeah. we actually, I think we, we razzed some of the other people in the class <laughs> that weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, 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 the few of us that were there, it was right. just like... You know, it was it was it was fun and whatever. Yeah. I remember, like the last time I saw he's he I, I I forget where he moved, but I think mm. he's teaching at like the Chicken College, Purdue. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I, mean, I think that's where he's at now. But uh, yeah. before he before he moved, uh, he I remember one of my other professors was having he, he had a documentary mm. that he was premiering at a at an art gallery in Framingham. So I went out I went down to see it and. Um, and then Harrington was there as well. Yeah. And he had just.